In Monday's press review, we begin in Zimbabwe with daily news it's a story caption. Sanctions halting the general public. ED says describe them as weapons of mass destruction. Ghanaian Times write, journalists must uphold ethics, principles, to promote nation building, peace, security, chief justice. Daily Guard says, Takoradi girl bones in court, and NDC messages unconvincing. Business 24 is a story. Ghana heads for biggest fiscal deficit in history. And only 3% of Ghanaian businesses fear collapse over pandemic. Survey. In Kenya, the standard right. I'm in the race. Uhuru succession. ODM leader Raila Odinga declares for the first time that he is not quitting elective post. Tell supporters that his family in the contest to complete the country's third and final liberation in 2022. In Cameroon, Echo Outlook right. Cameroon Business Forum, PM Leon Gute leaves drive to boost post-COVID-19 economic recovery. Municipal update is a story. Killing of school children in Kumba. Abominable. The seven children killed were, among others, present on campus last Saturday to pursue their education when Amber boys stormed the campus, killing them. Uganda's Daily Monitor is a story. Schools have no money for SOP. Some schools say government capitation grants have been withheld by the district, making it difficult to procure equipment to implement the standard operating procedures put in place to check the spread of coronavirus as candidate classes resume. In Nigeria, The Guardian writes, looting continues nationwide and why 15% budget allocation to health is tall order by FG. Vanguard is a story. Government businesses count losses to end SARS protests and investigate lakey shootings now. Catholic bishops urge FG. The punch right. Police go after looters. 483 arrested in Lagos, Plateau, Anambra, orders. And NACO postponed SSCE indefinitely over school closure, orders. And finally, we end with Daily Sun. Military arrests 123 for looting public property. Another story is Pan Yoruba Group. Aveni Ferre denies using Igbo. Quit notice. That's it for today. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.